uh, an interest in being outside, um, getting dirty, walking through high grasses with snakes and that sort of thing, very, and alligators. And so just kind of being like not afraid of those type things would be important. So my name is Tracy Perrin. Uh, we've been living uh, in this area for about tw over 20 years. Um, we got out of the Mar uh, Marine Corps to come here for a contracting job and we've stayed here since. Uh, raised all our kids here, have two at home, two in college and two uh, graduated and out in their life. Um, I am from Florida and in that area, love to be near the water and enjoy being outside, but I probably had more of a interest in medicine. So I really thought that I was gonna pursue a uh, medical field. Um, as I got into college, I started really enjoying some of my other science classes and ended up majoring in environmental science management and planning. It was a multi-discipline um, <clears throat> program. So I got to take classes of course, a lot of classes that were science related environment, um, botany and um, remote sensing, just very diverse with even within the science, but also I was able to um, take management classes and business classes that kind of gave me a, that side of um, the management part of my degree. And then I worked for the Department of Environmental Protection for the state of Florida for a couple of years before I got married and we moved. And I have not worked actively in that field since then. Okay, so it was environmental science, uh, management and planning. And I did that because um, it was, in some ways it was practical because it was at my, the college that was close to my home um, and did not require out of state fees. I had applied to some colleges out of um, the state and it was pretty, uh, it would just leave me with some debt. So I decided to just stay there and enjoy that major because it had a lot of what I was interested in uh, at the time. And then also I went with a friend to interview for an internship through a connection with my cousin's friend that worked for the Department of Environmental Protection. And we went there to see about if they had any type of internship or volunteer position she was looking for. And it turned out that when I went with her to the interview, cause I was kind of like the connection for that, she did not qualify, but they asked me if I wanted it. So, uh, so I interned there and it was, a, it's all, if you can ever be involved in internships, take the opportunity or pursue them if you are able, because it's wonderful. Um, and so the situation with that was that you paid, you were paid the salary uh, 80% of the salary of a starting out environmental specialist and with none of the benefits, but the salary, which was quite high for a college student. So that was in my junior, senior year, I was able to work with them um, and get some experience, which then of course led into me interviewing and getting a full-time position when I graduated. Well, um, I'm interested, I enjoy a lot of different fields of study. So it collaboratively, it kind of like included those. Um, so it, it, that was interesting to me, the variety in, in, in that with just, not just having all science classes, but then the management, the business classes. Um, but also practically speaking, it was just uh, a, good, a good thing to do. I could stay locally and reduce my expenses. Uh, and then in turn, I had very, very little debt when I graduated college. Oh, the part I love at my job. First, the people I worked with were wonderful and I had a great time with them, but I was also not in, uh, inside, mm, let's see, probably 50, 50. So I was out in the field doing inspections and, um, driving all over the panhandle of Florida. And then I would come back in, uh, to the office and write up the reports and another uh, part of the, the well 
the Department of Environmental Protection has areas uh, that would be broken down into water, uh, wastewater, like drinking water, wastewater, hazardous material, um, air quality, all that. And so, but another part of that for working for the state, which might be different if you work for the federal uh, agency, but uh, for the state, we were also enforcement and compliance. So if uh, a business or uh, was out of compliance or they had um, like my, some of my samples that I had taken of the well water or the wastewater, whatever water source point that they had, um, if they were out of compliance, then we would write them a letter and say, you've got to get back in compliance. Here's your levels that you're able. And so that was another aspect that kind of made it a variety that was interesting to the legal part of it. I learned some uh, much about that that I did not know. Um, so that was super interesting. So, but that was little because that didn't take up a lot of my time. Um, <clears throat> but mostly uh, setting up inspections, driving around, meeting with the the managers of that of the, um, the the different different plants and things that I went to inspect. And then, um, yeah, which was, I love that, just being out meeting people and going around, driving around and getting out, out of the, the office, especially because uh, my office was on the water. And then I got to drive along the coast and <clears throat> do a lot of inspections there. So being in and out, not just having one single thing to do each day was really fun. The hardest part of my job was probably my ideology and my worldview uh, conflicted with several of my coworkers. And that was a little, that was a little tricky, I would say. Um, that was probably the hardest part. Um, but that is something that uh, as a believer, uh, you, you really have to pray and focus um, on what your true, the true reason that you're there in that job and um, to love those people that you're with and then come alongside and help and encourage them and for them to be the best that they can be and to know truth and those sorts of things. So I had to balance, uh, you know, just speaking truth and love and not um, being contentious necessarily um, and caring for my coworkers in a way that they saw like me being authentic, I guess, and caring about them, but also holding different views. The most rewarding part, um, just getting out and being with people, you know, across the spectrum from large industrial Monsanto, um, champion paper products. I'd go to very big industrial sites to little mom and pop sites. Um, and, that was just fun. Uh, mom and pop would be like a little somebody, if somebody owned a, 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 a wash, a car wash and anything that was releasing any, a point source of waste materials. So uh, that was just very different. You know, one day I'd be at a huge plant with all these chemicals and just looking and testing and with a hard hat on. And then the next day I just drive up to a little, a little car wash and look at their little filtration system and, you know, write some little notes to them if they needed to change something or give them a thumbs up. Well, that was, that was interesting. Um, one in college, there was a little, just a little bit, there was a professor that brought a lot of money into the call into the college and in, in forms of grants. And um, he was probably in his 70s. And his view of um, women in particular was not the best. <laughs> and so that was a little struggle because he um, would not give a, a female an A. And I know that's weird, but that was kind of a little bit of a struggle, especially when you're an A student and then you feel like you can't get A's in his classes. Um, that was a little bit of a struggle. And then, but that was just, you know, that wasn't too big for for me, but in my career, I think just when a lot of jobs you have, you know, you wouldn't know so much about how people feel, but in uh, a science uh, field, you are dealing with people, particularly biologists, um, that were very 
opposed to uh, creation, anything with creation, anything with God. So I worked with people that were very strongly uh, atheist or agnostics. And um, they, it really it showed through in the way that they just like to talk about it a little bit. And so that was always, that was a little bit tricky as a believer. And then the other thing would be, I also work with a lot of older military retired CBs uh, that were in, uh, engineers in the military. And then that was their second career working for uh, this agency. And they were a little salty. Their language is really salty. <laughs> their jokes were a little salty, off color. And so that was a little tricky, but God was faithful. It worked out okay. Yeah, it was just how to navigate that was a little tricky. Flexibility. Uh, an interest in being outside, um, getting dirty walking through high grasses with snakes and that sort of thing, very, and alligators. And so just kind of being like, not afraid of those type things would be important. Um, an ability to relate to a lot of different types of people um, from the scientists that you work with to um, engineers to uh, some people were just business owners that had never you know, pursued education past high school. So just being able to relate to different types of people. Well, I was single at the time, so it didn't affect it too much. I mean, it wasn't a struggle to um, balance the two at the time. I think it made it stronger, uh, particularly even in, oh, I guess I, I probably didn't mention this, in college, even that particular degree that I chose was a bit controversial um, in terms of who came to pursue that program. And um, a lot of people came from different parts of the state to come there and they would uh, have been uh, very liberal in their thinking of, um, and maybe not accepting of people that had any religious um, tendencies or thoughts or worldview. <laughs> and so that was a little tricky sometimes just when we would go on uh, out in the field to do um, experiments and um, we might like quantitative ecology would be out, you know, uh, out in the, out in the woods and different places. And so you'd had time where you're riding on buses and, going places together or vans, not big buses, but vans and stuff and in classes. And even um, we even camped and stuff together to do research. So that was, uh, a, that was a little tricky, but I would say on my second semester there, I had met a friend in my, in my major that was a believer and we became best friends and she was wonderful. And it made such a difference just to have one person that had a like faith uh, and mindset about approaching our studies together. And it was remarkable how different my first semester without anyone that had a, had faith or just a kind, you know, person that I knew to the second semester when I did, or and the rest of my semesters. So that was a big deal. I'd encourage anybody to get a good friend that you can, you know, talk to and hang out in your, even in your major so you can study together. It's super important. In my field, well, yes, it's <laughs> it can be a little hostile. So I and it's very diverse. I think um, maybe less diverse now than when I was starting in it because it probably it was a little more probably 50-50 um, of uh, people that were not uh, had uh, some sort of a uh, faith or profession of faith and um, and then people that were adverse to it. And so, but that, that, those, that statistic probably has changed since then. Um, yeah. So how did, let's see, advice for girls looking to pursue it. Yes. So keep strong in, in the word and um, love people while you're in there and take advantage of that time to be around people that maybe you hadn't been around your whole life. Um, and, um, 
just enjoy uh, being uh, helping other people being a good steward of the resources God's given us and with a good perspective on it uh, that values people over the environment, but doesn't disregard the environment either, I would say, with a good balance. It's nice to come with a good balance. I felt like when I worked at, uh, for the Department of Protection, uh, Environmental Protection, that um, I felt like I was a person that kind of pulled some balance into uh, things that came up, situations that came up. Um, the other people might not have felt that way, <laughs> but I, I felt that it was uh, that God had placed me there for that purpose.